A court ruling is expected to squash current and future lawsuits against the state's power grid operator, ERCOT. In a nearly split decision, the Texas Supreme Court ruled today that the nonprofit ERCOT qualifies as a government entity and therefore is shielded from lawsuits. Fox Force Blake Hansen has more on the wide-ranging implications. Blake. Yeah, Heather, many people didn't fully understand what ERCOT was until that deadly 2021 winter storm. And courts have really gone back and forth as to whether ERCOT qualified for some key legal protections. More than two years since the deadly 2021 winter storm that swept the state, legal battles over the lives affected and money lost wage on. The court is ready to hear argument in the consolidated cases. But after hearing arguments in January on two cases filed by businesses against ERCOT, the all-Republican Texas Supreme Court ruled 5-4 to four Friday that ERCOT is a governmental unit and it cannot be sued. So there are a whole lot of lawsuits right now against ERCOT, not just related to the winter storm, but for a whole heck of a lot of other things that are likely going to be going away based on today's Texas Supreme Court ruling. Chad Rubag is an attorney not involved in the cases. He notes the protection known as sovereign immunity that shields government agencies is used to protect tax dollars and let the state focus on governing. If the government could be sued every time the government did something wrong allegedly, the government would be spending a huge amount of money on legal fees, even for frivolous lawsuits. So sovereign immunity does keep our tax rates lower. Sometimes the government really messes up and people are harmed. And with sovereign immunity in place, the government is immune from liability. ERCOT is a nonprofit corporation, but it operates as the state's power grid manager under the authority of the Public Utility Commission. The governor appoints the PUC's commissioners, and the commission chair sits on the ERCOT's board. In a ruling for the majority Friday, Chief Justice Nathan Hecht writes, this does not leave ERCOT unaccountable. It simply holds that the courts are not the proper avenue for redress. ERCOT is accountable to the state. Its shortfalls are being addressed by the legislature, which is accountable to the people through the political process. An attorney representing those suing ERCOT said in a statement, we are disappointed but not surprised that the Texas Supreme Court continues to prioritize the interests of corporations over the safety of citizens. Texans deserve better from their elected officials and justice will not be served until the justices are voted out of office. Last year, a Dallas appeals court ruled 12 to 1 ERCOT could not claim sovereign immunity. And Rubeck says division like this isn't common on the all Republican Supreme Court. This is definitely a situation in which intelligent people with great resources to research are going to disagree and did disagree today. The state legislature could essentially issue a waiver allowing lawsuits against ERCOT to move forward, but at least this early, there's no indication there's any sort of appetite for that to happen. Heather?